All right, everyone. Very important video, if you will only hear me out. I think there's a lesson for all of us who do not follow the Catholic doctrine and the Catholic belief of bowing down before statues and the idolatry keeping Jesus crucified on the cross. When we speak about lying signs and wonders, there's no question when it comes to the Vatican and the Roman Catholic Church, the way that Satan has infiltrated the Roman Catholic Church and the Vatican with the black pope and now a pope that might very well be Peter the Roman or Petrus Romanus. He is a Jesuit pope controlled by the black pope. We don't question the infiltration of demonic entities into the Catholic Church with these very strange things that occur. But they call miracles. Who can forget back in Portugal, Spain, the three shepherd children, who said the Virgin Mary came to them, appeared to them, and spoke to them in the cove, and that she said she would give a sign. And when a crowd of over a million people gathered with the news media there, there appeared a sign a sign that so many seek today, that we, non-Catholics, we don't follow that. We know that was not a sign from God when, in the pouring down rain, people stood there by the millions, and the sun began to zigzag and to spiral out of control and started coming down towards the earth, and then shot back up into place in the sky. We know that was a demonic sign. Satan works through religion. He knows the scriptures better than any Bible scholar. We don't question that that was a sign from God. We know that it was not. This story, very important, because this has taken place not far from where I live, maybe a 20-minute drive in Bloomfield, Michigan. Virgin Mary appearing to a Chaldean woman in southeastern Michigan. Now, she appears, allegedly, according to this Chaldean woman, who is a Christian, but of the Catholic teaching and Catholic doctrine, says the, says the Virgin Mary speaks to her between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning, giving prophecy, warnings, for mankind. Let me read some of this to you. Yes, this title has the sound of a bad tabloid article, doesn't it? But today, I spoke to a man named William who has been in her house and believes this is true. William told me at a retreat at the Manresa Retreat Center in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, that he saw oil oozing from a crucifix where Christ is still crucified, that this holy oil was oozing from a crucifix. Now, do we believe God is causing this oil to, to start to drip from a crucifix with Jesus nailed to that crucifix? Of course we don't believe that. A painting of the suffering Christ, a painting of the Virgin Mother, and from other Christian artifacts in this woman's home. It is this phenomenon that first draws people's interest to this story. So I'll say a bit about that before talking about the Virgin Mary's words. The source of the oil has no scientific explanation. For example, the painting is on a thin canvas. There are no hoses or tubes attached to it. And I believe that. And the reverse side of the painting is completely dry. Over the course of the past four years, since August of 2008, over 350 pounds of oil has emerged from these and other artifacts in this house. While the oil is a very puzzling and convincing physical phenomenon, when I hear of something like this that is real, and I'm strongly leaning in this direction based on having met William and knowing the priest who informed him and seen the video 
link below. I'll, I'll put the link to this below for you as well. I don't get caught up in the physical miracle. When God makes things like this happen, it's not standalone. It is done to help people believe in some sort of message. These people are actually believing that God is doing this. When we don't question, all of us that don't bow down before statues, we're not into idolatry and paganism and the occult practices of the Roman Catholic Church. We know that this is not a sign from God. We know that this is Satan appearing as an angel of light, performing miracles and deceiving those that follow this Catholic faith. It is done to help people believe in some sort of message. And that's what they truly believe. That's what they truly believe. Um, let me scroll back up. In this case, the message is being spoken by an apparition of the Virgin Mary. She is heard audibly by the Chaldean woman. Um, I don't want to read the entire article. Uh, these messages have been all recorded so that they can uh, be shared with humanity, and I'm going to do my part to share them. There are 121 messages, warnings, prophecies so far recorded up to October 29th, 2012. Now, she is of Arabic descent. She's a Chaldean, a Christian, but of the Roman Catholic faith. And she says the Virgin Mary speaks to her in Aramaic. But she understands Aramaic being uh, Chaldean, being Arabic herself. And this happens between the hours of 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock, the bewitching hours. Do you think for a moment, do you think for a moment that Satan, his only interest, is in the Roman Catholic Church and the Vatican? If he can do this and make these signs appear, paintings, oozing oil, crucifix with Christ crucified, oozing oil. And from what I understand, they have collected this oil and had it analyzed. And it's a form of some type of olive oil. But scientifically, they cannot identify the contents. Is this of God? Of course, we know that's not. So Satan, he's only going to infiltrate the Catholic Church. He's not going to infiltrate all denominations with his lying signs and wonders. We quickly believe that just because we are not Catholic, we don't bow down to statues, that this could not be Satan performing this miracle, these signs that we are chasing and following rather than chasing and following Jesus, that the voice these people are prophesying over and over, warnings just like this woman is hearing from the Virgin Mary, warnings for humanity, prophecies. The voice inside the person on YouTube's head that's giving that prophecy, we don't question. Satan would never infiltrate organized religion and denominations. I have to look at the word denominations and I see demon in there. Jesus Christ was not religion. It was all about having a relationship with him and the Father. We need to think. We need to think before we are so quick to judge the watchman. Leave me comments, everyone.